Monday, absolutely. The family wrapping up a news conference here earlier this afternoon. We have to tell you, there were four mothers, one father, and an unborn baby who hadn't even taken his first breath yet. They were all snatched from the earth in a shower of gunfire. And now their surviving family members want to make sure you know their names and see their faces. I'm Jessica Shelton. I lost three children last night and two nieces. Brittany and Shanetta Powell and Jerry Michael Shelton were her children. Yesterday started out to be a beautiful day for us. Her family planned a barbecue at Brittany's house. A little more than a dozen people were there, including Brittany and Shanetta's young children. Jessica left an hour before the gunfire. Her six-year-old grandson was inside. He said, Nana, um, they, there was fireworks outside. He said, but then I seen mommy and them laying on the ground, so I didn't want the bad men to get me, so I ran upstairs. Cousins Tina Shelton and Shade Mahoney were also killed by the gunmen who ambushed them. Yeah, I'm just heartbroken today. Shanetta was pregnant with a baby boy. She was due in May. What kind of society are we living in when we can feel good about somebody gunning down women? and a pregnant woman at that. Jessica's other son, Lamont, is in an induced coma with four gunshot wounds. It, it's, it's just not right for me to lose four and to lose two beautiful nieces. It just breaks my... <laughs> Lamont Powell is expected to undergo another surgery tomorrow. There is another victim who is still in the hospital. A third was treated and released. So if you want to help Jessica Shelton's family, she says what you can do is pray for her and the other affected families. If you're able, they'd also appreciate your donations to help with funeral expenses. They can be made at any Citizens Bank branch to the Shelton Powell Fund. Reporting live tonight, Ashley Hardway, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.